For most athletes, achieving the ultimate goal of Olympic success is a lifetime's work. But for 24-year-old Syrian Eid al Jaziri, he's aiming to complete that lifetime's work within just three years. Eid almost drowned when his boat capsized in the Mediterranean as he fled Syria two years ago. But it was only after seeing some YouTube clips of Olympic legend Michael Phelps that he decided swimming was for him. Actually, when I saw swimming, it was really, really hard because when I saw the videos about Michael Phelps, how he's swimming and how he's doing it, it was really easy for him. Like, I couldn't even swim, like, just a few meters, like. And I tried to ask a lot of coaches in the pool. I start to contact a lot of coaches. I just want to get there. Like, how can I just start? Because if I just know the rules and how I just get in, I'm going to try to push myself hard and hard. Before leaving Syria, Eid was studying to become an accountant in Damascus, where fleeing the war-torn country, he eventually made it to the UK 18 months ago and was granted asylum. Training to become an accountant then, but now training to become a member of the Olympic refugee team is a career change very few can make and in such a short space of time. A year and a half ago, he couldn't swim at all. His coach, Dan Bullock, was shocked at how fast he'd progressed. Progression at Eid's age has been remarkable, and which is why initially I double, triple checked. I didn't really believe that he had taught himself to swim and, and you know, was doing three to four kilometers within a, a few months. That, that is quite exceptional. I've been swim teaching nearly 20 years, and you, you just don't really hear about that rate of progress so suddenly. Al Jazeera is training at least twice a day, but it was only earlier this year he was living in a hostel on five pounds a day and still training regularly throughout the week. It was at that YMCA centre where Eid met Mary Armitage, another keen swimmer. It soon became clear this man was aiming to achieve something special. I would say he's very determined, he's very enthusiastic, um, he just loves it. So it just is what he wants to do. And he's just got that enthusiasm that shines through um, and the dedication as well. As a Syrian here with my situation, it's a little bit difficult and it's really, it's, it's really hard, I mean, to do all the things at the same time. I mean, to get to the swimming club, transport, to food, training really hard and all the thing with the studying and college. Our little team has taken him on, you know, open, open armed, uh, really welcomed him in, helped out with kit and other offers, um, taken him to some swim competitions and uh, our other friends and, and extended coaching group have really helped get him involved as well. Swimming is his oasis and allows Al Jazeera to be at his happiest, but it's being so far away from his family, who are still in Syria, that he still finds the hardest. Like in the end of the day, when you are doing something really good, when you achieve something with the swimming or with your study or anything, when you get back home, like there is not the same feeling when you are telling that to your mother at the end of the day. Al Jazeera feels refugees are thought of in a negative light, but he's here to prove he's just as capable of becoming an Olympian as anybody else. I will do like anything to get there, to achieve the dream, because all the people, they are saying, you're a refugee, you will never get there. Uh, it's impossible. And uh, yeah, just go and stay at home, but no, man. The International Olympic Committee are yet to decide on any qualifying times for the refugee team, but unlike his hero Phelps, is hoping to make it to the Olympics after only dipping his toe in the water just three years earlier.